yoga for everybody, representing Provenance Vitsen for a healthy lifestyle. I'm here to teach you guys some of my favorite yoga poses, starting with the hero pose. The hero pose is one of my favorites because of the fact that it helps relieve so many different aches and pains and ailments and diseases. It's therapeutic for many things, including but not limited to asthma, arthritis, diarrhea, any kind of digestive problems, flat feet, because it helps support the arches of the feet, head colds, it helps to relieve some sinus pressure, headaches, migraines, high blood pressure, insomnia, and finally, sciatica. So, let's go ahead and join together on our mats in a seated position, and I'll show you guys a couple different ways that we can practice the hero pose. From this comfortable seated position, let's go ahead and swing the feet around. And we can bring the knees together, or we could keep them hip width apart to allow for more space in the middle if we need to today. And then we can just hold it right here and stay upright if that feels good. Notice how I'm seated on the heels and the feet are nice and relaxed here. If we're having any sort of knee pain or ankle pain or any kind of pain at all, just in this upright version of the hero pose, there's a couple things that we can do that will hopefully take some pressure off the knees and the ankles, we'll make this a little more enjoyable. So let's start by taking a block and placing it under the booty. Another thing we can do to add a little more cushion is to place a blanket or a pillow underneath the legs just to kind of help support the knees. Okay, and then we can also roll up our mats and then line up our knees on the mat. Okay, so that might be a great option for those of us who are brand new to yoga and just need a very basic beginner level pose to just kind of veg out in and practice the deep breathing, practice proper alignment. Okay, so the shoulders are down, away from the ears, the core muscles are engaged. Okay. And the chest is open and the crown of the head lifts up to the sky. If we are feeling like a little more of a challenge today, we could try to progress deeper into the pose. So let me go ahead and show you guys what that looks like. And you can follow along with me as long as it feels good. So to start progressing deeper into the pose, we will bring the hands back behind the feet. Okay, so the fingers are facing towards the feet. Then from here, we can go ahead and lower down even further to the ground by coming on to the forearms. Okay, notice how the shoulders stay down away from the ears and the chest stays open to the sky. The final step is to progress all the way down to a supine position, so lying on the back. So, 
I'll start by bringing the crown of my head to the mat so then I can take pressure off my arms. And then I'll bring the back of the head to the mat. And this is as close as my body will go to a supine position in this pose. So notice how there's a big arch in the low back here. I don't know if you can tell from that angle, but there is a deep arch. And that's just because of the shape of my spine. And so something that we can all try if we find ourselves in a similar position is we could add some cushion underneath the spine here. So we're taking some pressure off the spinal column. So I've piled up my pillows and my blankets here so I can show you guys what it might look like to modify this supine line hero pose. to come out of the pose, the safest way to come out is to use the hands and the forearms to help guide yourself slowly but surely back up. And you can go ahead and swing the feet around and come back to that comfortable seated position. Thanks for practicing the hero pose with me here on Provenance Vicenne. I hope you found a version of this fabulous pose that helps you feel better to the body, the mind, and the spirit. Thanks again for watching. Namaste.